ghosts. <laughs> go, 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 ghosts. Ghosts. <laughs> Welcome, friends and fans, to another episode of GalaxyCon Live, where we are bringing the convention experience directly to you. And today, we are going back to the haunts of Massachusetts with six fantastic guests from the haunting of Hill House. So without further ado, let's brave the Red Room and see who we find. Our first guest is an actress whose body of work includes the West Wing, Sons of Anarchy, and the X-Files. Today, she joins us to discuss the role of caretaker Clara Dudley. Please welcome back, Annabeth Gish. Hi, everybody. Hey, how are you? I'm fantastic. It's a beautiful sunny day in Southern California. I'm happy to be here. Oh, so glad to have you back. Uh, glad, glad, to, glad to see things are, are well in your world and um, looking forward to uh, bringing out the rest of your peers and uh, seeing what kind of mischief we get them into this time. I'm sure it'll be a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, thanks again for joining us. It's always a pleasure. Thank you, you too. And our next guest, uh, I know them from Supernatural, Chicago Med, and Alice Fades Away. Today, he joins us to discuss the role of future novelist Stephen Crane. Please welcome Paxton Singleton. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> Good, boss. How are you doing? Doing awesome. It's a beautiful day in Arkansas. Arkansas, very nice, very nice. Uh, so, uh, glad the things are definitely part in there too. Uh, thank you for joining us here today. So uh, I think they asked this question. So uh, sports fan, I can tell. So your jams are uh, uh, Green Bay. Love the Packers and love Arkansas Razorbacks. I'm I'm a Florida guy, so I grew up in Miami. But no, but hey, you could have lots of teams. A big Packers fan as well. So I'm with you on that. <laughs> right on, Paxton. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Our next guest is an actress whose roles include Jet, Dr. Sleep, and Marvel's upcoming Black Widow film. Today, she joins us to discuss the role of the youngest of the family, Eleanor Nell Crane. Please welcome Violet McGraw. Hi. Hi. How are you, Violet? I'm good. How about you? I am doing well in my corner of the world. Um, I am looking forward to seeing your contribution to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Thank you. I'm so <laughs> maybe, maybe we can have you back uh, when, when the movie finally comes out. Maybe we can have you back. In the meantime, though, we are here to talk about The Haunting of Hill House. So glad to have you here. Thank you. Absolutely. Our next guest is an actress whose credits include Halt and Catch Fire, Absentia, and Alt. Today, she joins us to discuss the role of disturbed spirit Poppy Hill. Please welcome Katie Parker. Hi, guys. Hey. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, Patty. How's it? How, how are you? What's up? I, I, I'm well. I'm I'm in Orlando, and uh, it's an unusually nice day for this time of year. Usually, it spikes up to 99 degrees, but we're in a nice little er, low 80s, and I'll take it. I'll absolutely take, take that. It. Good. <laughs> My dog has just joined me. This is Emmy Lou Harris. Aww. Yay. She's oh. a good girl, so she'll be here with us. Uh, we, at GalaxyCon Live, we love meeting our guest's pets. The pets. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. Anytime she wants to contribute to the conversation, please let her do so. Yikes. Well, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. And speaking of contributions, <laughs> she is an actress and screenwriter whose body of work includes Hush, Ouija, Origin of Evil, and Gerald's Game. Today, she joins us to discuss the role of the empathically gifted Theodora Crane, Please welcome Kate Siegel. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm recording the great American, not American North, Vancouver. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kate, how are you? I'm doing so good. How are you? Uh, uh, doing well. Uh, so glad you could, you could join us here today. Um, very especially interested in hearing your insight in a lot of things since you have a connection to uh, the creative forces behind the camera. And we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it at that for now. But thanks again for joining us here today. And i big fan of Gerald's Game. Oh, yeah. Scary movie, eh? Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you very much for joining us today. And Finally, he is an actor and musician whose body of work includes Cloak and Dagger, Dr. Sleep, and E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Today, though, he joins us to discuss his performance as house renovator and family patriarch Hugh Crane. Please welcome back Henry Thomas. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, Henry, how have you been doing? I've been doing well. Nice to see you again, Patty. 
Uh, great to have you back, and great to have you here with these miraculous castmates of yours. All of you, welcome to the GalaxyCon virtual stage. As always, we're looking forward to the day when we can host you back on our physical stages, and we're just about there. We're, we're just a society in a world. We're just about there. In the meantime, we have this electronic forum. So glad to have you all here today. Our team is going through the chat room right now, pulling out the questions. In the meantime, I'd just like to throw this out. A horror and suspense and ghost stories they definitely have their own challenges in filming. What uh, what was the most memorable day on the set uh, for each of you? Well, I know I would say episode six. I think that uh, just the long scenes that we shot and just extending our relationships together when we were filming those, it was stressful. We made it work and it ended up being a really beautiful episode. Mm. Yeah, I agree with Paxton. Uh, that was uh, that was a very uh, in, intense few weeks, uh, and and those weeks stick out in my mind when I think of uh, of, of the filming process. I have a, a fondness for my first day of work because it's before you regret anything you do exactly how you wanted to do. It's before <laughs> any of like the real life nonsense of having a job sinks in and you just kind of feel that kind of magical Atlanta sun on your face and everything is a possibility. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, very much so. Very mine, very much so. mine was probably when I found, I was six, so when I found the tea set, I was so excited because I, I just had fun actually washing the tea set. <laughs> <laughs> Violet, I, I really like that scene that you and I shot together, too, with the cup of stars. Yeah, that was so fun. I loved you in that scene. Yeah, it was a very memorable scene. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that scene with Violet, too. Violet, you were the most fun to work with, I think, Violet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wait, let's do a Hollywood Squares thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes Violet our Paul Lind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> My favorite day was when Poppy brought Carla Gugino's character into the Red Room, and I had that big monologue with her. It was really nerve-wracking. Kate came that day to set, which was actually really comforting. She brought her son, and it was like... I hadn't I hadn't been on a set in about three years, so I was really nervous. But I had this great writing, and Carla was incredibly supportive and taught me a lot. And it was it was a really special day. You were like this particular brand of sexy spooky that I don't think I've seen since. Like it's quite delightful. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, spooky is on my resume now. Sexy, sexy spooky. I I was very I was kind of um, a tertiary visitor to set. I came in and out, and I remember the very first time I saw the set of the house, and how miraculous it was to me that they built this multi-level entryway with stairs. It was just just amazing to me to see that that set in in actuality. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was like an actual house. Yeah, really crazy. <laughs> Bigger than mine. <laughs> Bigger than mine. <laughs> Not quite a daily way it matter. Well, excellent. And and again, I and I have I have to give I have to give praise to all of you for these performances and the work of everyone on the creative side and the writing because this, like all good stories, it was about family and it was about people. It was and it was people thrown into this ghastly, unexpected, and sometimes horrifying, but sometimes very humane situations as well. And I think you all just, just knocked it out of the park. So as a fan, thank you for these performances. Thank you for your talents and thank you for your professionalism because it was great. And oh wow, we're getting the whole tour of Kate's uh, uh, hotel it's room. It's fine guys, I'm in fancy jail in Vancouver and my phone just hit at 20%. Great. Uh, <laughs> Always professional, always prepared. Kate Siegel, easy to be here. Happy to work with. No problem. We'll just look at Paxton's ceiling. There we go. We'll use this. Great. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ready for this. Okay. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's all good. It's all good. Well, I'll tell you what. I think we should be good to go for audience questions. So let's go ahead and roll our first one. And this one comes from Nate. And they would like to know. Have you ever experienced any paranormal activity on set? 
while filming. Hmm. Or I'll just say, I'll say on set. On set. That's a good question. I, saw, I, I first saw Poppy at the craft service table. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't a paranormal feeling. That was a whole different thing. Oh, and I was okay. going to say spooky, which was confusing. <laughs> That's <laughs> spooky. What a jazz hand. And lot of Nelly. Who's standing in front of the Cheetos? That's sexy and spooky. Yeah. That's <laughs> sexy and spooky. Um, I think this would be a good time, Henry, for you to tell them about your rule about Cheetos on set. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm such a glutton that I don't allow myself Cheetos until my last day uh, on set. I remember, and, I remember this from Midnight Mass. Yeah, yeah and then he yeah. eats yeah. all the Cheetos on the last day. I eat all the Cheetos. I can have as many as I want. Good boundary. Yeah. Now, are you uh, a crunchy Cheeto or a puffy oh, Cheeto yeah. guy? No, no, crunchy. Yeah. The, the puffy oh, Cheetos I can, I can eat at Liberty throughout production. <laughs> 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 it's the uh, it's the good good crunchy ones. Uh, that's where it's at. You know. uh, there, to, to answer Nate though, like there is something really eerie I think about um, shooting on like a sound stage because it's so quiet. Like it really is quiet when you shoot, which is awesome because you can like get more done. But also we had like random hidden ghosts around the Hill House set, which was always terrifying. Yeah. So that felt weird. Were there, were you going to say something, Violet? Yeah, because when I was filming uh, the one scene when it says the welcome home now on the wall, uh, and then there's like a ghost under the piano. It was, it was so scary. Cause and I can, I you didn't know, know, right? Did you know that there was a person there? Or a ghost? I know, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Only That's on the Flanagan set. I feel like <laughs> HR would be all over that on other sets, but we're all <laughs> on like a Flanagan set. Now it's like COVID. It's like no guests, no one's allowed. <laughs> right. No ghosts, no children. No children. We got him. <laughs> I remember um, Carla and I had a scene in like the sculpture sanctuary, and which was all, just always very eerie to be in the midst of random sculptures that you know that aren't alive but i, oh, I love that, that scene where you have your big monologue I yeah and yeah. there was yeah. there was this weird moment and i think mike pointed it out after the fact where i said one specific line and then there's just i stopped at a certain point or maybe they told me it was my mark i don't know but it was where the angel's wings were shooting out of my back <laughs> and uh, it was just a cool i was like okay that's yeah. that's divine <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that story was pretty creepy, I thought. Walking yeah. through Ghosts. <laughs> go, 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 ghosts. 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 <laughs> I just say things, guys. You're going to learn that about me. Uh, panties. Yeah. Panties? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Uh, Nate, thank you. Fun question to start us off with. What do we have next? Here's one from Jeff. Hmm, have any of you have you ever thought you may have seen a ghost in real life? That's a no for me, dog. It's a yes for me. <gasps> oh, oh, okay. No. Do okay tell. So there's this hotel in LA that I think a few years ago I went to, and oh, I, the name will come to me. Bad with names. Don't Go say Cecil. Don't say Cecil. Oh, oh the Roosevelt. The Roosevelt. <laughs> oh, the Roosevelt. Yeah. Cecil Hotel. And there's this, this way. there's this haunted mirror in yeah, there, and I'm like, well, I I want to take a picture with it. So we all, a couple of friends of my, actually McKenna Grace was with me. I have the picture, and uh, we took a picture in front of the haunted mirror. A couple days later, we're talking about it, just joking about. It. Well, we zoom in because. No! Oh, no! 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 I hope you planned that. I hope you planned that. Come on, man. Oh, my God. Is that for real? I heard that. that. The ghost got me. The ghost got me. I'm telling you. The ghost did not want you to tell the story. 
Yeah. <laughs> anyways, there's a face. Eight, 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 out of the management of the Roosevelt Hotel. <laughs> yeah, it was sketchy. That's all I can say. It's real. It's real. So, wait, you, you see a, a picture, there's an image behind the mirror? Or, or Yeah, in the mirror next to us is a fuzzy, like, orange kind of face. And the mouth is wide open. It's got, like, these beady black eyes. It, I'm telling you, creepy, Ooh. real, 100%. <sighs> I, right. I won't be visiting there soon. That's for sure. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Fair I've never seen a ghost in real life, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get this picture. I'm gonna say if you, if oh, you yeah. send it to us, we'll we'll gladly put it up for you. Put it yes, up. We'll do that. You, yeah, can you put it on? Can we all see it if you like put it up? Yeah, you send it to send it to our, our producer and he can put it on the big screen for us. That'd be awesome. Okay. Yeah, so in the meantime, uh, anybody else got another close encounter of the ghostly kind? I was gonna say I've never seen anything, but I shot a, a horror movie in like 2015, maybe. And um, Kane Hodder and Tony Todd were in it with me, and I was like, "I'm with horror legends. This is amazing!" And we were shooting at this old penitentiary in um, West Virginia that mm -hmm. had been shut down because it was like horrific brutality against the inmates. And we were shooting this scene in a rec room that was in the basement of this um, penitentiary and it was called the Sugar Shack. And the, the guards of this penitentiary would like, just let horrible things happen mm. and like make bets against the inmates. And so we were shooting the scene in there and I didn't see anything, but there was like a real bad feeling happening. Like everyone was like, oh, can we just get out of here? There was like an energetic, response if you will fair yeah yeah Didn't on a lighter it. note though uh we've had kane and tony on the show and they're awesome i have they adore were them. awesome yeah especially tony todd was really cool he's he's like um he's a good warmth warm energy he's cool he he is he absolutely yeah. is so. yeah very cool so anybody else with a ghostly encounter Fair. Now, Jeff, there you go. Thank you for throwing that at us. Thanks, what? Jeff. And uh, Pax, like I said, keep uh, looking for that and let us know when you yes. find it. We'll figure it out. And what do we have next? And here is one from Wood. Ooh. All right. What's the first movie you ever saw in a theater? Interesting. Oh, well, that's a good question. Um, I like this one because my answer is E.T. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> wow. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I think I think mine was uh, Dumbo. Oh, I love that movie. That movie not, is very not, sad. Not the original release. No, <laughs> no, 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 it's it. And for those in our audience that maybe too young to understand, Disney used to re-release them every seven years in the theaters. So they're, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Henry and my generations, we we, we saw it in the seventies and then et cetera. So. Yeah. I, don't you remember B Bambi was always really scary. I remember well, I saw that in the theater. It was yeah, I told yeah. after after my mom took me to to Dumbo and Bambi, I said, "Don't ever." I I got <laughs> mad and I said, "Don't yeah. ever take me to another Walt Disney movie." Therapy, movie. mom. I can't do. <laughs> like they killed their moms and. Much. Yeah. Any, anybody that doesn't cry during the baby mind scene in Dumbo doesn't have a soul. Oh, yeah. I agree with Patty. Who's, who's got another first uh, cinema theater? Hmm. That they can think they can recall. I mean, I definitely, it wasn't the first, but I definitely remember multiple yeah. times going to see Grease and Xanadu and all oh. like the, those were, I mean, yes. I, that was my early, early teens, but man, I saw it multiple times. Star Wars was the big one for me when I saw it as a kid that I thought, wow, these are amazing. Movies are really amazing. Yeah. yeah. The you two know, I can remember off the top of my head are American Tale and the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which are like very different, very different. I think um, at, at different ages, I assume. Yeah, I hope so. In the theater? You were like two. Parker, my parents, we have lots of chats with them now. 
<laughs> hey, 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 no, I, we love Rocky Horror here. We have a cast here about every every other month, so it was all good. <laughs> Just advanced for children. I'm an actress. It's fine. <laughs> uh, so, Violet, can you recall the first movie you saw in the theater? I have no idea. Hmm. I mean, honestly, that's the most honest answer. So it yeah. really is. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's true because your parents will try to take you to a movie when you're a toddler yeah. stage, thinking, and then one of them has to be outside the, in the lobby when you come. Well, that's down. the only reason I know is because even picture of little baby me at like a mommy and me screaming screening of ET, and and you know it was just my mom wanted to see the movie, and I was uh, like a transported meatloaf to wherever she wanted to go. Yeah. So. That's so cool that E.T. was, like, something you remember, though, from... Uh, oh, I have no memory. Like, I don't, I must have been, like, two months old, maybe. Oh, like, okay. it wasn't. <laughs> oh, God. I remember every moment of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're old. old. <laughs> My kind of old yeah, we're old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, very much so. Paxton, remember the first movie you saw in a theater? I couldn't tell you. I mean, definitely my parents brought me into one that I don't remember anything about, but... I watched The Incredible Hulk a lot for some reason. Just as a little kid, I just watched it a lot. I don't know why. Favorite superhero, though, for sure. Fair. Was yeah. that Bill Bixby? Was that like, remember Bill Bixby is in the uh, Oh, he's very young. He's very no. young. Oh, hey guys, I, I, I think it's probably like uh, the, 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 the Eric Bana version. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I'm sorry. so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mr. McGee, don't like me when I'm angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. Wait, who was the other Hulk? Who was the other Hulk? There was, uh, oh, uh, Eric oh. Bana. Eric, Eric Bana, yeah. Eric Bana, then, then Ruffalo uh, yeah. took it out. No, but what was the one? In, and then he, he got fired from the Hulk because he re-edited the whole thing. Uh, fake Fight Club guy. Oh, uh, that's the one. Yeah. Ed Norton? Ed right. Yes. Yes. Ed Norton. Yeah. Ed Norton. Yeah. Norton. Yeah. Oh my yep. God. Look how that brought the whole room down. Everyone's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, totally, I feel bad because I totally neglected Edward Norton's Hulk. Yeah. So did everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. oh uh, thank yeah. you, Wood. That was a great question. <laughs> I'm I'm with Henry in the sense of it wasn't the first movie I saw in the theaters, but Star Wars was the first movie that I saw multiple times in the theaters, which I didn't know you were allowed to do. I was like, wait, you can go back and see it again? I, I I'm, well, okay, you know. Well, see, in, in, in Texas, when I grew up, uh, when I was a kid, we didn't have air conditioning and stuff. So oh. my mom, in the summertime, we would go to the movie theater and we would just see movies all day, like as long as we could. And so we would just sit in the movie theater and watch Star Wars like two or three times and then go home. Yeah. So the air conditioning in the theater has worked really, really well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> you're, you're, you're not alone. A lot of people in the hot tub would just go for that. So, Wood, thank you. Very fun question. I think we are good to go on Paxton's photo. So, let's take a look. I'm scared of it. Uh, I am. Whoa. Where's the face? Show me the face. Oh, this, like. I zoomed in. That's your face, there Paxton. Even one that zoomed in. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there with the. I see a nose and a brow. Yeah. A little bit of a forehead. Okay. Haunted mirror. That's, That's weird. weird. That is. That is. <laughs> weird, weird. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paxton, thanks for sharing that with us, bro. Yeah. The whole paranormal, paranormal uh, story I have. Yeah. Hotel. Yeah. Hotel. Yeah. Oh, wow. Definitely. All right. All right, folks. Uh, next time we're at the Roosevelt, take a picture with the mirror and see what happens. Totally. <laughs> oh, all right. What are we? Oh, we lost him again. Okay. After him. He'll be, <laughs> he'll be back. <laughs> all right. What's another one? Yeah. Here's one from Haley. And they want to know, what was your favorite room in Hill House and why? Oh, I spent so much time in Theo's, um, in Theo's little over the garage apartment, whatever, on set. 
because they stacked it full of books that Theo would have read. And so I would, instead of going back to my trailer or the cast chairs, I would go hide in the room and read books in bed. This girl loves books. For whoever's <laughs> listening, loves books. Like, it's my, one of my favorite things about you, Katie. They're my favorite. Yeah, but so I spent so much time in there to the point that it became like a safe space for me when the, the world became intense. I'd be like, I'm going to go to Theo's room. Bye. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. <clears throat> Who's got another favorite room in the in the house mine, or favorite set? Oh, good. Mine was probably the, my playroom. The playroom. Oh, I loved that. Was that was my favorite. Nice. Very nice. Who's got a Who's got another? I liked the uh, kind of library conservatory area because there was a piano in there, so we could go and, or I, I would play piano sometimes. And I wasn't very good, but there were some good piano players that would uh, cycle through there. So it was kind of nice to have a little music on set. Yeah, yeah that'll work, that'll work. What did you play? Did you play any oh, particular tune or? No, I was just, you know. Just jamming? Making shapes, yeah. Okay, Henry, I loved it when you'd bring music onto set because I specifically remember you bringing bagpipes one day. Oh yeah, I could hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Henry, you play the you play the bagpipes? I was just gonna oh, say what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I play the bagpipes. I, cool. I didn't and, know that. Yeah, I, I, this is really weird. This came up the last panel too. Yeah, I, I dabbled in them when I was a teenager. Oh, you did? Cool. Yeah. Cool. How do you yeah. dabble, how do you dabble in that? <laughs> you, because, because you start with the playing, you're learning how to play the chanter. You start yeah. with, with that ideally. Then you got to work, especially as a kid, you got to work your way up for the lung capacity to actually yeah. inflate. Yeah, I would think it's yeah, so complicated. It's, it's uh, the, like Scottish pipes, it's very regimented because it's so standardized. But I was doing like I I had like these uh, European like market pipes. They were like German medieval market pipes. Oh, nice! And then some like folk kind of pipes. So they weren't. Uh, I, I wasn't playing like Scottish tunes. Yeah, but you're, you're jamming though. Awesome. Yeah, I was I was jamming it out for the kids on set. You know, like the Pied Piper. <laughs> A Phil House, yeah. Jamming out. You heard it here first. The house. whitest jam session ever. <laughs> ethnic. Hey, it's ethnic. <laughs> I'm back. This is me backing away from all yeah. of it. <laughs> uh, who else got a, 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 a favorite room in the house, either as a set or if you had envisioned it in real life? I, I also, this has nothing to do with Poppy, but I also really liked Theo's apartment. It just <laughs> yes. there. Yeah. Like, it just was, it was like well designed. And I was like, oh, like I could totally live here. It was very comfortable. Yeah. You're always yeah. welcome. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. also to, to both of those points, I think. Um, being it's such a the production designer kate i don't know what who, his or her name was but my god you could literally go to work on a day and you could meander through it during your breaks and sit in these amazing fully fleshed out rooms yeah that that felt like complete worlds within themselves it was it was really magical that set you know i am blanking completely on his name because you just uh, mentioned it uh he also designed Blind Man as well. Uh, Patricio! Patricio! Yeah, Patricio. That's right. Um, Patricio. What's his last Farrell. name? Farrell. Patricio. -E there it is. Well, and um, Kate, you can answer this question too. Isn't there a mirror that has gone from movie to movie with my oh, yeah, Oculus mirror is in everything. Right. Yeah. Was, the Oculus mirror was in, has been in every single thing. Yeah, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was in Jared's like game. It was in, I don't know if it was in Hush. Was it in Hush? It was planned yeah, to be in Hush. Um, and it's in Other Things Coming Up. Hmm. It's in Why. Um, yeah, <clears throat> but Patricio, he um, is 
he is forever in Hill House because there are all those faces over the fireplace mantle. Oh, right. <laughs> with ever him. That's cool. That's yeah, so one of them. So cool. One of them is him. It's his. It's his a cat. Face. His face. And yeah. that his oh wow! Ah, <clears throat> oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Uh, Paxson, uh, we're here for you. What's your favorite room in the place? Well, two really. I guess I like Violet said the playroom for her. The red room for me was uh, my like video game room, kind of. I guess you'd say, but also the spiral staircase room was really cool to me. I always really like that. Nice. Second that, that was cool. I didn't like that room because that's where uh, we walk in and see Carla dead. Yeah, oh, I killed her. Uh... Woo! <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> uh, push her down. Oh my! Goes, I don't know. I just persuaded her with my spooky, sexy ways. <laughs> 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 uh, so spooky and so sexy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just couldn't yeah. take it. it was just <laughs> couldn't crazy. handle it. Hey, let's go ahead and roll another one. Here's one from Sarah, who wants to know: ooh, What was your favorite plot twist in the show? Oh man, good question. Oh, that um, that I was the bat man. Yeah, that yeah. was mine too. Me too. It's the it's the best. Yeah, that bet neck lady episode was fab. So good. Agreed. Yeah, I think. But I, I also like the I I also like the later uh, plot twist with uh, with Stephen and uh, and his. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, the clock repair man stuff, right? Oh yeah, the clock repair man. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that Mike Flanagan, he sure can write. What a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps on writing. He just keep, he never stops. <clears throat> can't stop. Can't stop. <laughs> can't escape the Flanagans. Uh, uh, anybody else a fair plot twist? Or we all we all just love Violet uh, Violet's uh, turn. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think. Be awesome. I I think that's that's the novel answer. Sarah, thank you very much. Fun question. What is next? Here's one from Jeffrey. Ah, what's your favorite scary movie of all time? Okay. I'm not really allowed to watch scary movies. <laughs> That's good. Good. That's a good answer, Violet. Yeah. Good. They let they let Kate watch uh, Rocky Horror at a young age, and look what happens. Exactly. What you could end up like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no I really like The Ring I love that movie mm, it's pretty good Naomi yeah. Campbell awesome or not whoa yikes <laughs> Naomi Watts is awesome in that movie Hush is pretty good too Naomi Campbell is awesome though. I'm a fan of Absentia thanks mm. thanks oh you know what's great that I don't think it's the love it deserves is Starry Eyes with beautiful Alex Esso. Mm -hmm. We love Alex That's a Esso. great movie. That I didn't see that. I need to see that. Is that yeah, I, I, watch Starry Eyes. That's a great Where can movie. I find it? I think it's on Netflix. I think yeah, it, I think it think is on Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, I think it is on Netflix. You can uh -huh. find I'm, I love me Alex Esso. Yeah, and she yeah. is just jaw-dropping in that movie. Yeah. Oh, good, yeah. good. Okay, She's good. good. She, yeah, she really is. It's a good movie. Yeah, fair, fair. Henry, you got one? You know, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to uh, think what's the scariest. You know, when I was a kid, I saw uh, the people under the stairs Ooh. Uh, with my with my aunt, and we were. She was she was laughing at it, um, yeah. but I got really terrified, and I was you know I was really small. I think I was like five or six. You know. Um, and I got terrified of stairs after that. Like I was sure that people would reach through and grab my ankles. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's a that's a common fear of yeah. The sense is not too different from you know something under your bed snatching you out. You know, or or how about like poltergeist with the clown in the closet? Oh, yeah. I mean, come on, that 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 still trips me out if I go back there. 
Lightning and that, and that movie was PG. He moves. Yeah. Oh. But there are those things that like get in your brain when you're a child that aren't necessarily scary as adults that are worse than any movie you watch as an adult. Like I've, I've talked about this episode of Care Bears. And don't laugh, you guys. It's really serious. It's serious. Then the Care Bears go through a haunted house. And I hated it so much. And then somebody found it for me on the internet. I watched it again and still hated it. It was yeah. like... It like th there's an age where it can hit you and then yeah. stick with you for the whole time of your life. There's something about yeah, it's like the invasion of your home security, which is scary. Like in Absentia, there's this part where Callie, the character I play, she's brushing her teeth, and the shower curtain is like, oh, uh, mm -hmm. what do you say? It's drawn back. Drawn back. No, it's. <clears throat> The shower curtain is like covering the bathtub and this oh, okay. thing just like pushes through. And I always think about that whenever I go into my bathroom and the shower curtain is not drawn, but what is that word? Is there a word for that when you Close. draw it back, but then you, it's closed. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Close the curtain. There's something yeah. really scary about that where you're like, I'm just in my bathroom, but somebody's in the shower. <laughs> and it's Mike Flanagan. It's always Mike Flanagan. <laughs> Or if, or if it's the opposite, it's Anthony Perkins. But, you know. Or Anthony Perkins. <laughs> Although that technically wasn't him, actually. But that's, that's another story. Paxton, uh, got a favorite scary movie? Well, the first scary movie I watched was Hush. So. Uh -huh. Oh, that's me. I mean, that, that's <laughs> still my favorite. Hush is so good. So it good. is really it's good. So good. Thank you. Uh, absolutely fair. Jeffrey, thank you. Very fun question. Uh, what is next? And here's one from Marina. Which actor or actress would you guys bring into the hunting universe? Ooh. What a cool question. Yeah, but no one else is involved is invited because we have a really good group. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no one's allowed to come. Sorry, right. capacity. We're at capacity. Yeah. The, yeah, the, I'm, I'm sorry, the bus is full. Uh, get the next. <laughs> There's a. It's coming up on pilot season. You have lots of opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Right. Right. Yeah, it'll be great. <laughs> Hulu's casting for a horror show. Talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean, uh, love that. like Viola Davis. <laughs> I think she's so cool and would be cool in the hunting universe. I like, I like her. You know what? Oh. Oh, go ahead. I think it should be RuPaul. Does anyone else think RuPaul would be? We're RuPaul. Good? Yeah. <laughs> like, I would be really in to whatever would bring RuPaul to our universe and, like, how they would experience the haunting. That's, like, a yeah. point of view we do not have. And could talk about this. Yeah. Or Karen yeah. Gillen. We love Karen Gillen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's so, the best. So do we. Yeah. She's the best. Absolutely. I think that's part of the fun, though, is, is seeing, uh, you know, who who shows up uh, at the uh, at the subsequent uh, gigs, you know, because yeah. because uh, you meet. Uh, uh, I mean, I've met so many great people working with Mike Flanagan and, uh, you know, present company included, but also so many more wonderful actors and actresses that that uh that he finds you know it's yeah. like we're the we're the wrong people to ask i mean that would be a really great mike flanagan question um uh -huh. <laughs> it's me mike flanagan no. <laughs> the answer is peter capaldi <laughs> well yeah of course right is this a mustache i'm just joking it doesn't have a mustache but <laughs> I, I, that's a universal I, that's a universal I, time for impersonating I, I, mike flanagan yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I've had the privilege of hosting Peter Capaldi on our stages, and he is fantastic and an absolute delight. Yeah, yeah cool. So That's I would, true. I mm -hmm. put away too. So, so who else? Uh, uh, Violet or Paxton? Uh, if you guys could bring uh, another actress or actress, or even one of your friends or peers are in the business. Uh, I was on a movie with Madeline Brewer from The Handmaid's Tale. <gasps> I think I would bring her into the oh. universe. She's cool. Yeah. yeah. She'd, she'd be welcome, I think. She's really yeah, good. she can sit with us. 
Yeah. <laughs> He's cool. We like Madeline Brewer. Very much so. Paxton, got anybody? I've been thinking about this, and maybe, Henry, I think you'd agree, maybe adding more Mr. Doodly. <laughs> yeah, we call him Doodly, but Mr. Dudley. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I love him. I love him. <laughs> I, think you're, uh, I, I think the world is better with a little more Longstreet. Robert Longstreet. Okay. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. What, a, what an actor. <clears throat> Absolutely. He, he's got a he's he's got a cool turn and some upcoming stuff uh, that that's I, I think is going to resonate with people a lot, especially cool. hunting fans. Cool. That's uh, cool. outstanding, Marina. Thank you very much. Very fun question. I think we have time for one more. So let's see if we can go out on a really fun one. Yay. Here's one from Haley. If you become a ghost, how, <laughs> how would you haunt people? That is the best question, Haley. You win. Ding, yeah, ding, that's win. amazing. That's great. <laughs> that is it. That's awesome. Wow. I've thought about this a lot, actually. <laughs> okay. Continue. Go on. You know, those missing socks. You know, the socks that you can't find mates for? Yeah. I would bring those socks back. Oh. <laughs> oh. You're a good I would, lay them, I would lay them out, like, side by side on the bed. All right. Mated. 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 I'd be the sock mater, guys. All right. Yeah, I love that. Mm. No, seriously, I, I love it. The socks are just bringing it Yeah. <laughs> So wow! So, all right, so that's an interesting option. You don't, uh, haunting doesn't necessarily mean malevolency. Uh, it could be, yeah, it could be a good spirit. That's so. a good. I think I would if I could if I could haunt people, I would love to whisper in their ear something that they, something that's sort of prescient, you know, something that they that would help them get through something hard. Oh, that's, oh, that's beautiful. One. Yeah. I second yeah. that. I would go on my Instagram and look up my Ram Dass quotes, who's like a spiritual leader who I love, and I would whisper in people's ears. <laughs> Ram Dass. It's not you Katie guys. Parker or Annabeth Gish, but yeah. Ram Dass. Yeah. You guys yeah. are so much of a better person than I am because well, I'm going to be the ghost who's going to like steal fries off your plate. Yeah. Or like if you had a pickle with your sandwich, my ghost stole your pickle. This girl like, loves a salty snack. But <laughs> I'm just going to be in there like stealing your snacks. Yeah. Yeah. It's mischief. Really? <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> <laughs> so we have two snack filters. Okay. <laughs> this is like constant snacks. <laughs> what are you eating now, Kate? Yeah. French be... fries. Oh, no. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, let's give it uh, uh, if, if I was going to haunt anybody as a benevolent spirit, I would try to be the voice that whispers in their ear late at night, don't post mm -hmm. that. Don't click, don't click that. send, don't click post, don't, <laughs> don't, 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 yeah, you'll regret All that right. in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> or you may find yourself out of a job. Don't post yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so absolutely. Uh, is Paxton going to come back? Well, I'll tell you what. Harley, thank you for that question. And GalaxyCon viewers, this has been my... Oh, wait, there he is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Paxton. Before you disappear for the final time, if you were to come back as a spirit, how would you haunt people? And the, it's on the table that it doesn't necessarily be in a bad way. You could be a good spirit uh, doing good deeds. If I want to be myself as a ghost, I'm going to have to go with eating people's snacks as well. I just, yeah, <laughs> like a fry, like you said, a pickle. <sighs> This How do we love food? We love food. It's now, love food, yeah. Now it is interesting. I, 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 I wrap my head around how a ghost actually eats, but that's probably for a conversation yeah. and for another audible, side. Like, could uh -huh. you hear the, the the pickle crunch when you eat it? Ooh. <laughs> no, because no. I feel bad for people who have that thing where the sound of other people chewing makes them 
feel or like that, that ASMR thing, right? Or no, like, that, so I would just steal the pickle and then I would go to another room to eat it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm considerate. I'm always like considerate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Harley, thank you. Wonderful question. And GalaxyCon viewers, this has been my time with the cast of The Haunting of Hill House. Any final words for our audience before we go? Thanks, guys. We Bye. love you. Bye. 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 Uh, it's been my pleasure to serve you all today. Once again, thank you for joining us on the GalaxyCon virtual stage. Thank you to our audience for joining us today. And thank you for all those great questions. Hope to see you all again soon. Until then, bye-bye, everyone. Take care. And please keep washing those hands.